grab a pen and a piece of paper um, if you don't have one pause this and grab a pen and piece of paper we're about to create our dream or your dream customer profile now you need this because you need to know who your customer is and you need to know where they are and what is going on in their lives now a dream customer profile is an imaginary person that you create and oh, and that is the person that you would love to work with now when you do this exercise it actually now affects all your marketing activities because you start to once you really get to know this person this person this imaginary person this person actually becomes real because those are the kind of people that you that's the kind of person that you will attract to your business with the kind of communication that you do because you're going to once you once you know this person intimately you're going to speak their language you're going to use the words that they use you're going to understand their needs and those are the things that will now create those bonds we're all we're talking about bonding and we're talking about creating a strong connection with your customer and this is one way to do it um, this is also one way for you to not just attract the people that you would love to work with but also kind of use that as a way to also exclude the kind of people that you don't want to work with now we've talked about your target market that's different from your dream customer your target market your dream customer will be within your target market and um, this is like a more of a personality profile that you're going to create now of that person that you really want to work with um, so when you talk about your target market, you're talking about like the demographics, you know, like where do they live, how much money do they make, um, um, you know, what's their age, what's their sex, that kind of thing. But then your dream customer profile then goes deeper into deep, you know, deeper into um, the deeper into the psyche of the person and deeper into getting to know that person as a real person this is such a powerful exercise because as you as you get as you go on in your marketing maybe when you build a website and you start sending out emails or you have some kind of communication and you have this dream customer in mind or in front of you or you're focused on them when you're doing your communication or when you're you're even when you're creating your packages or whatever it is that you're doing it helps the person also to see themselves and to see that you know this person really gets me this person really knows me that kind of thing and and that is you know that gives you that opportunity to create that strong bond so anyway and um, that's why you need to create the dream customer profile now um there's there's some you know some good information out there on on um and i'll, I'll provide a link to one that you know gives you a, a, a set of questions that you can answer about your dream customer which you can use to then um write the story or write about the person but you need to do this exercise you need to do it not just in your head but you need to actually write it down I mean you can go as far as um, go to uh, go online get or get a photograph give the person a name and then um, create the profile of that person that will kind of um, that will you know you it's like um, I, I don't know where I heard it um, not long ago where somebody said they went into a shop and they were trying to sell something to the shop owner to say, oh, um, take this product and display it in your shop. And then one of the one of the salespeople said, um, Paulina will not like this. You know, Paulina is their dream <clears throat> customer and they've got to know Paulina 
so well that they look at the product and they know, oh, Paul, our dream customer will like this product, or Paulina will like this, or she won't, or she won't like this, that kind of thing. So that is um, how how deep that you go into you can go into this exercise once you give them a name give you know put a face to their name and then you have that in front of you when you're writing a letter when you're sending an email when you're creating a product when you're sending a card you know when you're making a brochure that kind of thing those that this um this exercise will help you to do those things in such a way that it comes a, a, across as you know more powerful but anyway let's go on so that I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what you can include basically you you want to have um, you want to work with people now you personally want to work with somebody who has certain core characteristics so it's not so much what they you know how they dress I'm oh, sorry I'm sorry it's not so much how much they earn or you know what kind of what what part of town they live in but it's more the core characteristics for instance um and you find and sometimes you find that okay you, you, a lot of people actually just want to work with people that are similar to them if you you can do that you can also work with somebody that is somebody that you know, like maybe an existing customer that you really love. You can use that as a basis for your um, dream customer profile. But anyway, let me not get ahead of myself. And um, so what I would ask you to do is to think of three core characteristics that you want your dream customer to have. It could be anything, something that's important to you. You know, maybe you want her to be spiritual, you know, a person that has a spiritual, or you want her to have maybe have family values. You want her to, or him, you know, but um, to be honest, most of the people that buy cakes, 99% are women, or the, the people that make the buying decision are usually women. So let's say her. Um, so you might want her to be fun loving. You might want her to be somebody that likes fashion. You might be want her to be somebody that doesn't take themselves too seriously. You might want her to be somebody who is um, um, serious about their work. You know. So once you have you uh, um, or, or again you can even say you can also even say the three core characteristics that you or you don't want in your dream customer um, profile like you know especially um, with cake decorators we find ourselves sometimes faced with some nightmare customers who kind of don't value our work who just don't have a sense of they they don't have that um sense of value or that respect for our work or that kind of thing so those are kind of the things that you can um include in your dream customer profile that these are the things that i don't want these are the things that i i want the person to be as you know as as their core characteristics then once you've thought about their core character characteristics that you want you also you want to you know you also describe them based on obviously their sex their age you know their age range their um education are they um up you know are they graduates or are they just um self-educated or whatever you know the kind of work they do that kind of thing but you you um you you can also think about things like what do they do for fun you know what you know what are her hobbies what are her moral values um what is her typical day like what are her hopes and dreams what are her um what keeps her up at night what are her favorite books what are her favorite movies you know what is her idea of a perfect day you know what what um those kind of things so once you do that because really um we're talking about conversations with people 
we're talking about interacting with people. This is not rocket science. This is not trying to be too serious about anything. We're talking about, so you're, you're, you're going to be thinking about what, what is it in their, what do they have in their everyday life? Where are they? Not just where are they physically, but where are they in their head? Where are they mentally? What are they working through? What are they going through? What are they, um, what's their life like? You know, once you have that, create that dream customer, then it's so much easier to, to, to bond with such a person because you, you know what they you know what's important to them you know what where where they are you know what they're doing you know what what they're up to you know what's what is at the top of their mind and um you can you can also you can do this um in a number of ways you can you can um you can research this person, like for instance, if you've decided what your target market is, and maybe your target market is brides, you know, obviously in the months before the wedding, the bride is going through different things. So if you are going to research this, you can go to where they are and you can actually kind of eavesdrop in quotes on their conversations. What is it they're talking about? What is it that's at the top of their mind? What are they thinking about what's what is their worry what you know what are what are their you know hopes and their dreams concerning their wedding day you know so once you have once you have that those are the same words and and um situations that you are you are able to speak to those are the same words and situations that you are able to empathize with those are the things that you are able to actually um speak to in such a way that the person actually thinks to themselves or they know that okay this person at this cake decorator actually gets me she she knows who i am she knows the kind of person i am that kind of thing so um you can you can research them you can also research by talking to people like that you know and um in, in in one of the lessons coming up, we, I'll show you um, how to build rapport with people and what and also how to get into the mind of your customer. So you can uh, you can talk with them, you know, or you know you can um, survey them. You can um, base your dream customer on an existing customer that you really like. So. And is I mean, the you know what what are what's their day like? What's how many kids do they have? What schools do their kids go to? What um car do they drive? Do they drive themselves to work or do they catch the train? I'm talking about going like really really deep and really really detailed into who this person is, and don't forget you also could give them or should give them a name so you have that thing so that when when you have something that you want to offer to your customer you can say would would Sarah like this you know this is my dream customer would Sarah like this or I'm writing or when you are writing an email you know you have that person in their mind so you are speaking to that one person so that when they read your email they say oh she, she, you know she's really talking to me oh she really gets me I mean, when I was um, when I was writing the twenty eight ways to sell your cakes um, handbook, I spent some time in on Facebook groups and uh, just by listening to conversations of people, you get to hear what they are struggling with. You know, somebody comes and rants on on the on the Facebook group and says oh my god this customer came today and she she said she wanted a three-tier cake and she was going to pay she wanted to pay forty dollars for a three-tier cake and you know this would I mean how annoying can that be that kind of thing so you and you know so you know what they're going through you know the pains and 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 the frustrations and that kind of thing that they are going through 
you know you know what their their aspirations are you know what they're working towards if you're um, talking about um, maybe professional women you know what they're and, those, and that's your target you know what they're they're going through at work because you maybe you've spoken to some people like that or you hang out with you've hung out with such people or you know such people so you've you you kind of engage with them and you you know this is what they're going through at work this is what they have to face on a daily basis these are the frustrations they have these are their their dreams and their hopes and that kind of thing so that is that is the exercise i would like you to do I would like you to create a dream customer profile. It's um it's a fun exercise and but you you would have to like really um concentrate on it and just give it your best shot. Um give her a name and an age, find a picture that you can relate to and and name that person name, name that as your dream customer profile. Think of the three core characteristics. I mean, we're talking personality now that you would like you personally as a as a as a seller, or you as the cake decorator would like somebody you would like to work with. You want maybe you want to work with, um, you know, a serious person, or maybe you just want to work with somebody who wants to be a good mom you know, or, and has strong family values, or if you want to work with somebody who is um, up, um, what's that word, somebody who is um, trying to reach the top of her industry as, as a professional, you know, so somebody that's driven and, you know, so whatever characteristics that you would admire in a person and you would like to work with that kind of person then write that you know put that down and 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 create that story of your dream customer once you also um, when you come up with the um the core characteristics then also think of what her ideal what her <clears throat> what her day is like what her life is like what her household is like you know or and and just those kind of things Create that picture, write down as much of it as you can, and that is your profile. We're gonna, you, you know, you're gonna have this person in mind, you know. So um, we've talked about um, your niche and your message. We've talked about your target. We've talked about your goals, your marketing goals, and now we're talking about the person, the specific person that you want to be reaching out to each time, or you want to have in your mind each time you are creating any kind of communication with your um, customers because once you have that create that communication with that person in mind that kind of person will be attracted to you and you can be very deliberate or very intentional about this you know this kind of thing so that you can actually attract the kind of people that you like you know the kind of people that you, that are your kind of people for one person, it might be different. For another person, their dream customer might, might be different. So that's why it's nice to, that's why it's good to know that not everybody is your customer and the people that you want to work with, you actually can decide. You can do this and then this way you attract the kind of people you like to you. So um, I will include uh, worksheets that you can use just with a checklist of some questions that you can answer to create your dream customer profile. But you can still go ahead and get started with it immediately. And we will stop there for now and see you in the next module.